I just can't wrap up the lectures about C++ without us creating a small game, which is going to be our guess the number game. So inside of our int main over here, we don't need to do anything else. Everything's going to happen over here. We're not going to declare any variables above. So what do we need? We need a couple of variables. First of all, we need the number that we want to guess, which is going to be generated at random. Next, we need a string, which is going to be the user's guess or what we type in to guess the number. So first of all here, we are going to say int number to guess, which is going to be the number that we are going to guess. And I'm going to use the random built in function to generate a random number. Now this rand will return a very, very large number. I'm not sure which or how large it is. You can just go online and look at that because it's not important. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this percentage sign and I'm going to say 1000. What this is going to do? Well, first of all, this is a remainder or what is remaining this is that operator, so the remaining operator. For example, let's pretend here that I have, I don't know, let's say 100 and I use the percentage sign by 10. This right here, the percentage sign will tell me how many times 10 can go into 100, which will be 100, okay? So it will be 100. And as I said, it will be 10, excuse me. <laughs> so yeah, it will tell me how many times this value can go inside of this value, which is 10 times. And what is remaining will be left. And what is remaining, it will be zero. But in our case over here, what we are doing is essentially by using this operator percentage again, remainder by 1000 on our random, this will give us a random number between zero and 999. So it will give us, again, a random number between 0 and 999, which will essentially tell us how many times this 1000 can go inside of our random function. And again, I told you what number, which number will be returned. Next is our string, which is going to be our user guess. And I'm going to call it here user guess like this and voila. So now we need to control the workflow or we need to have a workflow to control our game so that we will have, well, we can play the game. And for that, I'm going to use a Boolean and I'm going to call this one continue. So continue, continue playing like this. By default, it is going to be equal to true because we are going to use this inside of a while loop. Remember that we have a while loop. So here I'm going to say continue playing, not conditional, but I'm just copy this over here. So continue playing. And here we have the condition, which is this bad boy over here. Eventually inside of the while loop, we need to have a condition to evaluate this to be equal to false or otherwise we will have issues, but don't worry, we will see that. But while loop will allow us to play the game as long as the continue playing is equal to true. So first of all, here I'm going to say C out like this, and I'm going to print here something like guess a number between zero and 1000 or 999 like this to play the game. And here I'm going to use the end line or end L. So this is going to tell us, okay, guess the number between zero and 999 to start playing the game. And next we need to get the input from the user. Now notice here, so far we've been using C out, which will print inside of our console. But how can we get the input? Well, we use C in to get the input. And now instead of less than less than sign, we use greater to greater than sign. And here I'm going to say user guess, which means whatever we type in our input. So C in C input, whatever we type inside, we are going to store inside of our user guess. Okay. Now here I need to say int user number. And what I need to do is I need to convert this string into an integer. And we use that by using this S T O I, which is going to convert a string to integer. So S string to E integer. And we're going to say here, user guess like this. Why do we need to do that? Well, because we are going to compare, you see the number that we need to guess is an integer, but we are, we got here a string and we cannot compare a string to an integer in our, if else, classes or the lecture about if else statements, we compare numbers. So we compared if a was less than 10 or greater than 10 and so on and so forth. You remember that now we compare numbers. We cannot compare integer to numbers. Instead, we need to convert either integer to a string or we need to compare 
or we need to convert string to an integer. So here we get the input from the user, which is a string. And now I'm converting it by using this function. And this function is built in into our STD. We are using here a namespace. If we don't use the namespace, we would have to use it like this STD colon colon. We can still use it like this, but we don't have to do it because we're using the namespace, which will allow us to use all the functions that are built in into this standard. This STD is by the way, short for standard. So here, as I say, or said, string to integer. So it will convert this string to an integer. Now, if you don't type a number for your guess, this will have an issue or it, we will have an error. I'm not going to go and throw exceptions when that happens to handle that. I'm not going to do that. That is for some other lecture, but just make sure when you guess the number, make sure that you input numerics and don't use characters. So use numeric characters or numerics which means numbers, don't use characters. So here we're converting the string to an integer and now we can test it out. So here I'm going to say if our user number is equal to the number to guess, so if it's equal to number to guess, voila, bam, we won the game. So we won, we're, we're the main people. So yeah, woohoo. But before we start coding everything here, I'm going to say else if our user number is greater than the number to guess, so number to guess, if, it, if our guess number, so what we typed in, which is our user number, this is what we typed in. If it's greater than the number we need to guess, then we need to tell our, so we need to tell our player who is playing the game, we need to tell him, okay, see out like this. And I'm going to say, my number is lower. Please try again. So please try again. And here I'm going to end line like this. And of course, here I'm going to copy and paste it because we're going to have another else if, if our guess is greater or actually lower, you see user number is lower than the number to guess, then we are going to say my number is higher, please try again, okay? So this is going to tell us if we, for example, guess 500 and the number is, I don't know, for example, 200, then this is going to say my number is lower. So lower your number, try to guess again. We will see that in a moment. And here, if we guess the number, we want the game. We are the main people. So here I'm going to say C out like this. I'm going to say you guessed correctly, correctly like this. You guessed correctly. Congratulations, you won the game. And we can then ask our user, do we want to play a game? So here I'm going to say end L, actually like this, come on, end L like this. So we are going to end the game or actually end the line. And here I'm going to say C out, not C count. So C out like this. And here I'm going to ask our player, does he want to play again? So here I'm going to say, do you want to play again? Do Come on, do you want to play again? And here in our parentheses, I'm going to say Y and N, like short for yes or no, like this. And here I'm going to say end, or actually less than, less than sign and end LN. Now we do need to get the input from our users. So here we need to say string play again, like this. And I need to get that input. So I need to say C in and not C int, it's C in like this. And here I need to say, well, C in play again, come on. Why isn't it giving me the correct values when I want them, okay? So finally, so C in play again, which will get the input from the user. And now we're going to compare that and we're going to compare a string to a string. So I'm going to say here, play again, if it's equal to Y, then that means yes. And else if it's equal to, so else if play again is equal to N, that means no. So that means we don't want to play again. If it's no, then simply here, we are going to say C out like this. And we're going to say, thank you for playing. So thank you for playing and end the line. And below we are going to say continue. So continue playing, which is our condition over here. Continue playing is equal to false. This is if we press the N key, but if we press the Y key and we want to play again, what will happen then? Well, we need to generate the random number again. So here I'm going to take this and generate the random number and voila, here we are. So basically this is our game. If I were to run this now, if I go over here and run it, so yes, first of all, let me just quickly play it. We will see it. Don't worry about that. So pay attention here. 
guess a number between zero and 999. So if I say, for example, 500, press enter. So did I press enter? Yes. My number is lower. Please try again. Okay. Which means that we entered 500. The number that we need to guess is lower. Let's try 250 and enter. My number is lower. Okay. Let's try 100. My number is lower. Okay. Let's try 50. My number is lower. Okay. Let's try 25. My number is higher. Let's try 30. My number is higher. Let's try 40. My number is higher. 45. My number is lower, which means our number is between 40 and 45. Let's say over here, I type 43. My number is lower than 42. My number is lower. Okay, let's say 41. You guessed correctly. Congratulations. You won the game. Do you want to play yes or no? If I say no and, and hit enter, you will see, bam, you hear, thank you for playing. And we automatically close it. You see, thank you for playing. We don't play anymore. So let's see what this is over here. So essentially, here we have our number that we need to guess. We explain what this is. We will generate a random number between this, between zero and 999. This is the guess from the user. So we will get this as an input from the user. And this is our condition to play the game. So while this condition is true, we are going to say guess a number between zero and 999. And we're going to guess the, or get the input from the user. With C in, which will allow the user to input, to type something out, press enter, and we will get that input. Then, because that input is a string, we need to convert it into an integer, which we're doing here. And then we're comparing our numbers. So if the user number or what user guessed is equal to number to guess, then we guess correctly. Congratulations. We want the game. Do you want to play again? And again, we need to get the input from the user, but this time we're getting the string as an input and we're comparing that to a string. So you see here, we either press Y or N, Y for yes and for no. And we're comparing that if play again, which is the user input again with C in what we press, if that is equal to Y, generate a random number again and continue playing. Else if we don't press it or we press N, thank you for playing and continue playing is false and we are not going to continue to play our game again. And here else, if the guess number that we put in is greater than the number that we need to guess. We will see, as we saw a moment ago, my number is lower, please try again, which means we guessed a number that is higher. So we, in the previous example, we were supposed to guess 42, but we start with 41 and we started with 500, which means the number that we need to guess is lower, please try again. If we were to enter a higher number, which we also saw, we saw that my number is higher was being printed. Please try again. Now, what you can also do is, for example, here on top, right below our string user guess, we can create an int guess count, which is going to be equal to zero by default. And every time we miss a guess, we can increment that. So we can say here plus plus. And here we can also say plus plus. And this will count how many times and end with the semicolon. And this will count how many times we tried to guess our number. And here below, we can say something like C out, not count, but C out like this. And we can say it took you, and here I can pass the guess count. And here I can say something like many guesses to guess the, guess the number like this. And here, and L to end the line. And of course here, when we, if we want to play again, again, excuse me. So here, guess count, we need to reset that value back to zero. So essentially what this will do, every time we miss a guess, it will increment this value by one. You see plus plus, we talked about this. It will add one to guess count. In case you forgot, it's the same thing as if we type guess count is equal to guess count plus one. So this right here is the same as this over here, but this is a shortcut. And in programming, you want to use shortcuts. So every time we miss a guess, we're going to increment the guess count by one and here as well. And at the end, when we guess the number correctly, we're going to say to the user, it took you how many guesses? So it took you, for example, 10 guesses. So here I'm going to say 10 guesses to guess the number and you want to play again, blah, blah, blah. And here we need to reset it back if we choose, if we press Y key to play the game again. So if I go over here and press the play, press the play button. And now over here, guess a number, blah, blah, blah. So let's say I try to guess 500 and I press enter. My number is lower. Please try again. So it's lower, which means we guess 500. The guess number is lower than 500. Let's say 250. It's lower. Okay. Let's say 150. It's lower. Okay. Let's say 50. It's lower. 
Okay, let's say 41, like you guessed correctly. Congratulations, you won the game. It took you four guesses to guess the game. Let's say W or W, <laughs> Y to play the game again. Yes, guess the number between one, between zero and 999. Let's try 41 again to see if the game is playing with us. No, it's not. My number is higher. Let's say 500, my number is lower. Let's say 250, my number is higher. 350, my number is higher. 400, it's higher. 450 it's still higher okay 75 475 it's lower 470 it's lower 460 it is higher 466 higher 468 469 468 is the number it's still lower 467 Finally, finally, you see, you guessed correctly. Congratulations, you won the game. It took you 13 guesses to guess the number. Do you want to play a game? If we press yes, again, we will be prompted to guess a number between 0 and 999. If we press no, then we will, as you saw, quit the game. So congratulations, this is your first step towards Unreal Engine and creating games in Unreal Engine because you now know how to create basic games in C++. And the fire from us.com. Until I see you next time, stay out of jail because you will not be able to follow these tutorials and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.